I just knew I wanted to and needed to experience a field school and this is where I ended up, so. I've never been a talkative person. So going up to random strangers and asking them questions every day for a month certainly changed that somewhat. As part of a long-term study, because we partner, partner with the Sugarcane Industry Research and Development Institute, we are collecting information that will benefit them in their training of farmers, um, both in technology and general human development. We went and we tried to interview everyone in a town by going door to door. And even though we were sort of focused on cane farming, we talked to the other villagers to get their perspective because everyone is affected, um, not just the farmers, when the economy goes down. Should sugar cane prices fall, how will you and your family sustain your livelihood? As most of the people in these villages, even if they're not farmers themselves, have links to sugar cane farming. So if the prices do drop significantly, which Seardy talked about potentially happening when we went to visit them, then their lives are going to have to change. But we're also asking important questions such as what does the community want us to ask and to understand that would help them? Because not only are we interested in helping the associations and Seardy, we're also interested in helping the community itself. I like all of the food places. Sometimes we didn't have hot water. Sometimes we didn't have Wi-Fi. We sweat a lot. Get used to not wearing makeup. We got to climb a really tall temple and like feel like you're about to fall off of it. You know, you're not just seeing the ruins, you're hiking through a jungle, you're taking a boat tour, you know, you're seeing all this wildlife. So not only do you, you know, we spend, I think, uh, four or five days in like classroom activities, but then the rest of the month we're actually doing it. Really being able to step outside your comfort zone and actually experience a culture for everything it's worth. Meeting real Belizeans, not just doing tourist attractions. And, I don't know. I feel like I really got to know Belize beyond what most people get to know. Well, your name gets to be on something that <laughs> is going to be here next year and be part of what the students next year are doing. So you do ethnography, you just don't read about it, you just don't talk about it, you just don't watch films about it, but you do it.